I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except for Jesus Christ and him crucified. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of St. Paul of the Cross. He's a priest who founded an order called the Passionists. And he was really famous for reflecting on the passion of Jesus. To be mindful of what Jesus suffered for us. So that when we have our own pains and our sufferings, we can unite that to Jesus. We can offer that up to Jesus as well. So that's the beautiful thing about his, his little charism there. And he started this order, and the Passionists do a lot of retreats, a lot of different things, and try to deepen people's appreciation of the great mystery of what Jesus suffered for us. And it changes the way we suffer. It, it gives meaning to the difficulties and the challenges that we face, like in the pandemic and all these different things. It helps us to not be afraid of anything. So my brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred and holy mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the priest, St. Paul, whose only love was the cross, obtain for us your grace, O Lord, so that, urged on more strongly by his example, we may each embrace our own cross with courage through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and the learning of the learned I will set aside. Where is the wise one? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made the wisdom of the world foolish? For since in the wisdom of God the world did, did not come to know God through wisdom, it was the will of God through the foolishness of the proclamation to save those who have faith. For Jews demand signs, and Greeks look for wisdom. But we proclaim Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. But to those who are called, Jews and Greeks alike, Christ, the power of God, and the wisdom of God. For the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than human strength. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify him, all you peoples. Go out, Go out to all to the all world, world and, and tell the good news. For steadfast is his kindness toward us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out, Go out to, to all, all the world, world and, and tell, tell the good, good news. news. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. 
For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with the angels in his Father's glory, and then he will repay each one according to his conduct. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Today, with the, the permission of your Father, I'm going to preach the homily, okay? Um, one question. Today, St. Paul of the Cross, as Father Glenn was reminding us, and in the, we have the, what we call the Office of Readings, the breviary, you know, the priest, the priest book, but it's not just for the priest, but we pray it every day. And in the reading for St. Paul, he does a beautiful meditation on the cross. Now listen to this, guys, okay, because we don't understand this. And I, I hopefully I can explain it with the help of the Holy Spirit, okay? So, you see this, this cross, this crucifix, okay? This is his cross, right? What was the cross? This is the first question for the lesson today. What was the cross of Jesus Christ? What, why was he killed? I'm looking at the older ones, but who knows? Yes? <laughs> but what did Jesus do that made people so angry? Yeah, in a sense, yeah, you're right. Somehow they didn't accept that this was the, the Messiah. They were waiting for the anointed one, the Messiah, the Son of God. We don't understand sometimes these concepts. They were waiting for the Savior, okay? And the Savior appeared in a very humble state. Many of them we know very well through the government there were waiting for this triumphant uh, political Savior. And we know very well that that, that wasn't the case. He did not present himself as the savior in this sense, right, of just the problems here on earth. He went deeper. He went, he became the savior of the problems in our hearts. Okay? And this is important. For example, let me give you just a personal experience which might help you to connect. I grew up in a very difficult household. Maybe some of you can relate. Alcoholism and violence, okay? Uh, I say this to help you open the ears. This was my cross. We all have a cross. St. Paul, today's meditation, says something amazing. He says, with faith in Jesus Christ, faith, real faith, the cross becomes fantastic. What do you think about that? Sounds crazy, doesn't it? Go like this. Yeah, you're a crazy priest. Oh, or, or God is giving us faith. This is the revolution of the Catholic Church, of the Christian Church. That, because I hated my father. Do you understand? Maybe some of you can relate. I, I didn't like him because he was mean and abusive. We didn't pray at home very well. And something amazing happened, that God intervened. He came, like through us, through a, a friend, a brother, saying to you, you know what? God loves you, and that cross one day will become glorious, beautiful. You will love your father one day. And I said, really? Are you kidding me? And it happened. It really happened, brothers and sisters. It became the best day of my life, where today I'm a priest. You know, Father Glenn also has his story, but I'm a priest today because I began to see faith, love towards the enemy, to accept the sufferings at home, that my dad had a conversion. He changed, not because we kept beating him up. Hey, you better change, darn it. No, he was loved. 
Someone loved him as he was, in his weakness, in his frailty, in his addiction. He didn't know many times what he was doing. He was sick. He didn't mean to do these things. And I began to understand this with the gift of faith, which is what we're trying to transmit to, to our people, right, to you and to everyone we see. So I invite you to, this is what St. Paul is saying today. It's something beautiful, Father Glenn. Eh? That the cross, that's why he called, imagine that the cross with faith is so beautiful, so fantastic, that suffering that you maybe today, you don't accept in your life today, with, with the light of Jesus Christ becomes your salvation, your means to pray, your means to love. It's something crazy. Well, it was, it's so much true that Paul, this guy Paul, called himself Paul of the Cross. Imagine, I don't know if you understand, my dad's name was Ray, he already passed away. Imagine, I, now I call myself Carlos Ray. I don't know if you understand. When I didn't want anything to do with this man, now I wanted to be part of my name, Carlos Ray. Something fantastic, brothers and sisters. This is what the Lord wants to give us. This is what the sacraments promise us and create in us. That's why we need the gift of faith and the gift of prayer. Eh? So I wanted to say that to encourage us, especially the younger ones, to persevere, pray. This whole pandemic thing will pass. You'll see. We'll see. But pray, persevere. Don't be afraid. God loves you. He's very close to you. And in the moments we least understand and least expect, he's there, very close, very, very, very close, okay? So don't be afraid to call out his name, especially in the difficult moments of life. Let us now stand and offer up our prayers. We pray for the church, that she may be a light to the nations and a guide to all peoples, we pray to the Lord. For all nations throughout the world, that they may know and serve the common good and not be motivated by greed and self-interest, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For more vocations to the priesthood, religious life, faith-filled marriages, and the dedicated single life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may recognize in our own sufferings a participation in the, in the cross of Jesus, and that we might be able to unite our sufferings to his and therefore not waste them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a special intention, the intention that I'm praying for in this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And Father, there's no intention, but do you have an intention you'd like to offer in this Mass? Yeah, the intention today is for the evangelization in our world, especially in our area here in this diocese, and that the pastors may be brave to evangelize their people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray that all corruption in our world be uncovered. That means people who do bad things, people who lie, people who cheat, people who try and take advantage of other people, that that be uncovered. Um, even in the church, there's sometimes corrupt people in there, and I hope hopefully they can get uncovered too, so that, we, that they can change their lives, that they can lose their power or be converted, so that we can have leaders that respect life, religious liberty, and all that's in accord with natural law. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of the people gathered here before you, those spoken and those kept in the silence of our hearts. Answer them insofar as they meet our deepest needs and are in accord with your holy and divine will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine. We offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look upon the sacrificial gifts we offer, Almighty God, in commemoration of St. Paul of the Cross, and grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's Passion may imitate what we now enact through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on this festival of St. Paul of the Cross, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by the words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the ablation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Paul of the Cross, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Kevin our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you, in your compassion, O oh merciful Father. Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. See the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The body of Christ. May God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. May God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The body of Christ. May God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The body of Christ. May God bless you, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. May God bless you, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. May God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The body of Christ. May God bless you, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. May God bless you, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. The body of Christ. The bo- May God bless you, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. May God bless you, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 May God bless you, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ.
We proclaim Christ crucified, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. Let us pray. O God, who in St. Paul have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that, drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and, and labor in the church for the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in this day of battle. Be our defense against the wickedness snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. Do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, all the other evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And asking Our Lady's intercession for an end of the pandemic and for peace in our world and tranquility in our